Take weight honors, Virgil Honeybear Aiken. From Detroit, Michigan, the former Olympic light heavyweight champion, now doing well in the professional ranks, here he is, Chuck Spicer. And last, ladies and gentlemen, but not least, the former world's heavyweight champion, here he is tonight, Ezard Charles. While Ben Bentley is making the introductions, they're tying on the gloves of the champion, Kid Gavilan, and the challenger, Chuck Davey. And, of course, both corners are being checked carefully. They will be six-ounce gloves, and the tape and the bandaging on the hands, due to Illinois rule, is very, very light. And they were very careful about the taping, and, of course, that is why you see the various corners inspecting the taping and the putting on of the gloves. Now, of course, the uh, knockdown rule, the mandatory count, will be out for tonight. And also, the three knockdowns in a round. A man can go down as many as five or six times, and if he's still able to get up and the referee figures that he's okay, he can continue. Also, according to uh, the Illinois laws, this one could possibly end in a draw, and if it were to end in a draw, Gavilan would retain the title. That, of course, is a very remote possibility. It will take uh, a bit more time. As you know, the Chicago Stadium is the, has been the scene of some of the great fight crowds of history. The all-time top here, better than 22,000 to see Jack Dempsey and King Levinsky in an exhibition. And, of course, the all-time indoor gate for the, uh, was the middleweight championship. For, for the middleweights, rather, when uh, Tony Zale and Rocky Graziano got together in that scorcher out here that drew about $467,000. Tonight's gate approximates a sellout. We will not say that for sure, but we should know it later. All right, here's the introduction of Chuck Davey. Ladies and gentlemen, the ring officials have been appointed here by the Illinois State Athletic Commission. The two ringside attending physicians, Dr. John Pribble, Dr. Irving Slott. The judges are John Bray and Ed Hint. The timekeeper, Charlie Sidebottom, counting for the knockdowns at the bell. Mike Murphy, the referee, Frank Gilmer. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the feature bout of the evening, 15 rounds for the Welterweight Championship of the World and the challenger wearing black trunks with a white stripe. He weighs 147 pounds, undefeated in the professional ranks, now residing in Lansing, Michigan, Chuck Davey. And ladies and gentlemen, from Camagüey, Cuba, wearing white trunks with a black stripe, he weighs 146, one half pounds, one of the greatest fighters of our time, a great credit to the Cuban Republic, the world's well away champion, Kid Gavilan. And now, and now, ladies and gentlemen, referee Frank Gilmer and the instructions for both contestants. The Illinois State Athletic Commission has already given you your detailed instructions and warned you that it's particularly important that there be no rabbit punches, no kidney punches, low blows, or other fouls. Keep fighting fairly until I tell you to break. When I say break, stop punching and step back before you resume fighting. This being a championship fight, the eight count compulsory knockdown count is waived. If you score a knockdown, go to the farthest corner and stay there till I wave you in to fight again. Make it a good, clean fight. Shake hands now and come out fighting. Kid Gavilan with 105 bouts, 27 years old, and Chuck Davey, 26, just about four months younger than the kid who has had 39 bouts, winning 37, drawing two. It's for the welterweight championship of the world. Davey at 147. And his uh, opponent, the champion, Kit Gavilan, 146 and a half. That's Chuck Davey in the black trunks. And here we go.
both men wanting the other one to lead. Remember, we've got 15 rounds to go. Davey, strictly a southpaw, and Gavin, a fellow that can switch his style around in all directions. There's been some thought that he might even turn southpaw for a while tonight. Both boys after the weigh-in had the usual big steak and a couple of hours sleep, and they're really fit. That's Davy's plan, of course, the right jab across the left and it's the kids plan to figure out that style of attack and use the two-fisted attack from all directions regardless of the outcome David will receive the gold trophy from Nat Fleischer of Ring Magazine for the novice that made the biggest advance in 1952 and here he is fighting for the championship in 53. With 30 seconds to go now in round one. Both boys with footwork that would do justice to a keen student of Arthur Murray, as one of the columnists here in Chicago said today. champion of the world kid gavilan ready to come out for round two against the challenger chuck davy how did you score round one davy at 147 in the black trunks gavilan at 146 and a half Gavilan, an inch and a half taller at 5'10", Davy at 5'8 and a half. Here at ringside, we have a scroll of 6,500 signatures, 80 yards long from Michigan State. Wishing Davy luck. We have almost that many wires and letters and phone calls. Wishing... Uh, Luck to champion Kid Gavilan. It's hot here in Chicago tonight with this tremendous throng and the hot lights overhead. Both boys are perspiring freely as we're only in round two. second round Gavilan trying to figure out the style of Davy and Chuck reluctant to leave himself open with a long left hand
Here's the bolo. Punch for which Kit Gavilan is famous. The first time we've seen the bolo tonight. two is over and that's uh, Kit Gavilan from Havana Cuba back to his corner the only Cuban to ever hold a world championship Kit Chocolate was generally uh, credited with being a world champion but he was recognized only in New York the kid is a national hero down in Cuba quite a photographer quite a family man and they idolize him there as boxing fans throughout the world to do in general He's had 105 fights, winning 89, losing 12. He scored 26 knockouts. Now to the challenger over in uh, Chuck Davies' corner. The ball who flashed across the Fistic Horizon like a meteor about a year ago, and he's continued to go. 39 bouts, 37 wins, and two draws. From uh, Michigan State College, fellow that intends to go on into higher education, and he's going to use his ring earnings for that purpose. We're ready to go for round three for the welterweight championship of the world brought to you by Pabst Blue Ribbon. <laughs> Davey in the black trunks, Kit Gavilan in the white. Despite this huge throng here tonight, this great ushering organization of Andy Frames has handled the crowd perfectly, as they always do. left in the third round. Gavilan said that he was going to concentrate a lot of his attack to Davies' body. Neither man bearing a cut, a mark of any kind so far. minute and a half to go according to our Longine timer here and Gavilan apparently is trying to get Davy early. Shouting instructions to Davy to hang on, but he's not inclined to do so. His eyes appear to be fairly clear. those blows landing in solid fashion on Davies head with 20 seconds left in round three. They're working feverishly on Chuck Davies. That's his uh, veteran uh, trainer Izzy Klein and his manager Heck Knowles. Davy down for a count of nine with a minute to go in round three. Bouncing back up and insisted on fighting and was throwing some good leather himself. And he appears fresh for round four. The champion of the world, Kit Gavilan, on the white trunk.
this is only the third welterweight championship bout to be held in the city of Chicago. Two minutes to go in round four. Gavilan appears to be biding his time. He likes to fight on those flurries. But he has landed the harder blows up until now. the distance it will be decided on the aggregate points voted by the referee and the two judges minute to go on the fourth the button it didn't appear to phase the kid much but it really had power behind it. that is how high Gavilan's keeping that uh, how long the left hand is and how high the right is 30 seconds now down only once in his career that by Ike Williams <laughs> well you see the kid from Camaway Cuba who has been one of the most colorful fighters that uh, we've had in the United States in a long time he's taken on all comers he's been uh, very busy and he has been the picture of confidence in all of his uh, workouts preparatory to defending his welterweight championship against Chuck David tonight. This is his 106th pro bout. His name Gavilan, his name really very speedy boy, Gonzalez, and he acquired the name of Gavilan from a former manager. Round five in the Black Trunks, Davy. Now let's see. Gavilan is apparently getting ready to switch styles and go southpaw. That's what he's trying to do. Oh, well, you got a lefty against a lefty in there now. five of what has been a very fast bout so far both men using those wonderful legs of theirs tremendously and then no low blows no warnings for the referee Davy was down in the third round for a count of nine Gilmer, the third man in the ring, working a very efficient job. One minute to go now in round five. There's 
one of Gavilan's famous flurries as the challenger attempts to tie him up. Here's the Gavilan Southpaw again. Round five is all next to Chicago. Chuck Davey in the black trunks, Kid Gavilan in the white. There's been one knockdown in the third round. Davey down for the count of nine. In the event of the referee calling a low blow, he can take the round away from uh, the fighter that is penalized. However, the judges do not have to go along with it if they don't want to. They could decide that it was not enough of a damaging blow to cost the fight of the round. Styles several times now as he goes from the orthodox back to the southpaw. in the sixth round. This might top the all-time welterweight uh, gate of $269,677 when Gavilan fought Turner last year in Philadelphia. We do not have the official total so far. his eyes twice there and that attack by the kid although he didn't appear to be badly hurt <laughs> this is Russ Hodges at ringside in Chicago for the big welterweight championship of the world we fully believe we have around 35 million viewers tonight we hope that you're enjoying the bout of that bottle of Pabst Blue Ribbon well, the weight champion Kid Gavilan, inscrutable, has been fighting in his traditional style of flurrying, punching heavily to the body. And Chuck Davey has shown all the gameless in the world himself. almost slipped to one knee there. He has on very high boxing shoes, very high top shoes. Two inches higher than Davis. Seventh round, two minutes to go. Very 
very little difference in their ages. In fact, not even a year in Gavilan's favor. Yet he's had 105 pro fights to 39 for Davy and is a master at pacing himself. He's much more concerned about Davies left. He's taking the right jabs, but keeping his eye all the time on the left hand that Davy keeps caught so well. Seven, very nearly over. <laughs> Round eight coming up. A strong play by Gavilan and uh, Chuck Davy in a clinch at the end of round seven, and this is the eighth round. a cut of any kind and there are no threats of black eyes it's so far there uh, neither man has a swelling of anything around the eyes to go in round eight. We're trying to locate the definite spot of the laceration on uh, Davies' eye, and we haven't had a straight-on shot of him since it happened. It might be on the cheekbone. It is on Davis' right cheekbone below the eye. There's a minute to go in the eighth round. take you to Ch Chuck Davies corner immediately at the end of this round and the commission position may come in 30 seconds to go in the eighth is over and let's go to Davies corner his handlers are up there in a hurry 
And uh, referee Frank Gilmer did not call for the position to come in as he saw that the laceration was uh, on the cheekbone, well down below the eye. And trainer Izzy Klein will try to show the magic for which he's so famous and patch it up in a hurry. So with eight of the uh, 15 rounds gone, Davey has been down once and has suffered a laceration over the right cheekbone. Gavilan, while not fighting in particularly sensational style, has seemed to pace himself beautifully all the way and has uh, had the heavy guns. There's the kid over there now talking to Mundito, his trainer, and uh, his co-manager, Angel Lopez, as we're ready for round nine of the scheduled 15 round World's Welterweight Championship. Davey has done very little punching to the body. He's been shooting at uh, the kid's head most of the time, and perhaps he's going to switch his style. Chuck's eye has been patched up. It is starting to swell, though. With a minute to go in the ninth round. One, Another uppercut two, puts Davy down again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's up at nine. Gavilan is a fighting fury now. Terrific right hand staggered Davy. And he's out on the apron of the ring. Can he get back in? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven seconds left in the round. Davy on rubbery legs. And the bell saved him. Chuck Davey absorbing a terrific battering. Had the intestinal fortitude to get up after being knocked down hard three times, twice from right uppercuts. The third time, as we saw it, a left hook. And Chuck was barely able to weather the round. The commission physician is up there checking his condition now with his trainers. Seconds are running out in the intermission between the ninth and the tenth rounds. The referee is over there, too. Izzy Klein has told the referee that he's all right, I think. A flash bulb has just fallen into the ring, and they're getting ready to move it. And how about round ten? Izzy Klein says no. It's all over. 
It's all over, ladies and gentlemen. Izzy Klein refused to let Chuck Davy come out for the tenth round. We will bring you an interview with uh, Kid Gavilan, who is still the champion of the world, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to be moving up into the ring now. As soon as the official announcement is made by Ben Bentley here, we'll get Kid Gavilan on to speak to the millions of fans who were tuned in tonight. I'm trying not to block the pictures here. And I don't mind telling you that Chuck Davy is a very disappointed boy at the present time, ladies and gentlemen. If we can possibly get Chuck over, too, we'd like to have him come over. He's, uh, hey, Izzy, how about uh, Chuck? He got, he was hurt in that round very bad, Russ, and then he got hit a punch in the Adam's apple, and he couldn't breathe on top of it all, but he was hurt a couple of times with some good right hand punches. I see, and uh, is that uh, why he's a bit ill over there now, the punch yes. in the Adam's apple? Yes, back to apple, you can't breathe, you can't swallow, he couldn't, he could hardly talk. Well, he certainly put up a great game battle. Thank you, Russ, he tried. Mark to stop. And now Winner here, on technical knockout. Here's the official announcement by Ben Bentley. The Bentley's. tenth round. When Chuck Davy failed to answer the bell, winner and still world's well away champion, Kid Gavilan. Here's Kid Gavilan. And Denny, bring him over here, will you, Ben?